Welcome to this tutorial on how to use the Baltimore Humane Society's Volunteer Vlogistics System. So once you complete your orientation class, you should get an email entitled BHS Vlogistics Pin. In this email, it's going to include instructions on how to sign up for additional classes, as well as sign up for volunteer shifts. So you can double check that this is your correct name. And you can see that this is your Vlogistics PIN number. This PIN number is going to be your password when you sign in at home, and it's also going to be your PIN number for when you come in to volunteer. You will sign in and out of every volunteer shift using this PIN number. Even if you come in to take a class, you will still clock in and out for that class. This email also includes this link right here, and that link brings you to the volunteer login page. Your login name is going to be the email address that you put on your volunteer application, and your password is going to be that PIN number found in the BHS Logistics PIN email. If you ever forget your password, you can always click the forget your password right here. And once you log in, it'll bring you to the volunteer information system homepage. Over here on the left hand side, you can see you're the your assignment section. So once you've completed orientation class, every volunteer will be able to sign up as a cattery cage cleaner and a kennel assistant. You can also sign up for administrative tasks such as being a front desk reader or data entry. Once you complete additional classes, they will show up in this your assignment section here on the left hand side. So we can see that this particular volunteer is a green level dog walker and he is also able to sign up for events outdoor volunteer projects, and as a small animal socializer. In this new section in the middle, this is going to keep you updated on things going on around the shelter, uh, including uh, new things going on, upcoming events, and things of that nature. On the right hand side, we have some document links that can update you on what you learned in a class, so if you ever need to remind yourself on what you learned in orientation or in a cat socialization class, you can familiarize yourself using those document links. This mail tab is going to include all the messages you receive from the volunteer coordinator. And this My Profile tab is going to include all the information you included in your Vlogistics uh, application to the Baltimore Humane Society. It's very important you keep your contact information and emergency contact information uh, updated. So it should include your first and last name as well as your contact information, your demographic information, and you can also include skills and experiences that you think would be beneficial to the Baltimore Humane Society, such as experience using power tools or gardening and things of that nature. That way we can look up what volunteers have those services that they'd be willing to, uh, to let us utilize. You can also preference your assignments. So this includes everything that you're capable of doing as a volunteer, and you can come in and select what you would like to do. This does not sign you up for classes. It only tells your volunteer coordinator what you're interested in doing as a volunteer. This section is your emergency contact information. It's very important you keep this updated at all times so that if there were to be an emergency, we could quickly contact your emergency contact. We need to make sure that we have the first and last name of your emergency contact, your relationship to them, as well as a home phone number. You do not need to fill out this employer section. It's mostly for our benefit to see if uh, we could have some kind of mutual relationship with that particular company or employer, and if you have any particular skills that you use in your everyday uh, job that would benefit the Humane Society. You can also update your photo down here at the bottom. And once you update all this information, be sure to click the appropriate green Save button. The next tab is the My Schedule tab. So this area is what's going to allow you to sign up for volunteer shifts as well as other additional volunteer classes. So if you want to come in on a particular day, you can select what day you're interested in coming in. And it will show you all the available shifts. So it does look like there's a cat socialization class on this day. 
and that they are still looking to have one volunteer attend that class. If we would be interested in attending that class, we could click the green schedule me button. But let's say, ah, I don't feel like socializing cats. I'm going to come in and walk dogs since I've already been approved as a green level dog walker. So we can come down here and select the time that we would like to come in and volunteer. So let's say this particular volunteer is only available after 2 p.m. They could come in and select the 2 to 4 p.m. opening and click the green schedule me button to the right. It's going to ask you to confirm that this information is correct and you'll select yes. You'll then cl click the continue button to bring you back to that calendar page and we can see that we did in fact sign up to be a green level dog walker on the 8th from 2 to 4 p.m. We can also use this drop down menu to sign up for any shifts as well as additional classes. So let's say this particular volunteer is more of a dog person and he wants to be a kennel assistant. He can click on the kennel assistant and that'll update the calendar view here at the bottom so that it will only show help wanted bubbles on the days that we still need a kennel assistant. So he can check his schedule and click on the day that works for him and come to the dog kennel assistant section and see that it's from 9.30 to noon and that they do still need one volunteer. He can click on the green schedule me button, confirm that the information is correct, and click continue to return to that calendar view. And he can see that we, he has in fact signed up to be a dog kennel assistant on the 29th from 9.30 until noon. Now let's say in between those weeks something happens and he is no longer able to be a dog kennel assistant. He can come in and click on the day and it's going to show at the top his schedule that he has signed up for. So it says that he is a kennel assistant from 9.30 to noon on that day and he can click this green remove me button to the right to remove him from the schedule. We ideally like to have about 48 hours heads up that a volunteer will not be able to make their shift. If it's any sooner than that, please email your volunteer coordinator as well to give them a heads up that they will be needing a kennel assistant on that day. The next tab is the My Service History tab. And this tab is going to let you know all the volunteer hours you have completed at the Baltimore Humane Society. This will only show those hours that you have correctly clocked in and out of at the shelter using that BHS Logistics pin. So we can see that this particular volunteer started volunteering in August. And since that date, he has completed 69 hours and 24 minutes with us. And we can also view our, your service by year. So if you've been with the Baltimore Humane Society for multiple years, it'll say 2014, 2015, 2016, and you can click on the year to get an expanded view of all your volunteer service. If you're a student that's needing volunteer service for school for service learning hours, you can always click this printable view button down here at the bottom so you can print your hours out from home. If you ever need additional paperwork filled out or a letter, you can always email your volunteer coordinator to get additional documentation. In order to log out of the volunteer uh, information center, you can always click the green exit button down here at the bottom and it will confirm that you have successfully logged out. If you ever need to log back in, you can always come find that BHS Logistics email you received and use that link. But we highly suggest that you bookmark this page so that you can find it easily in the future. You can also find this link if you go to the Baltimore Humane Society website at bemorehumane.org and go to the volunteer page. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, there will be a link down here that will take you to that login page. If you have any further questions, please email your volunteer coordinator at volunteer at bemorehumane.org.